my name is Brandon Sexton, and my report will be on Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. The author of Les Miserables, Victor Hugo, was born on February 26, 1802, in Vincennes, France. He earned widespread respect as a campaigner for social causes such as the abolition of the death penalty. Hugo's father was a high-ranked officer in Napoleon's army until he failed in Spain, one of the reasons why his name is not present on the Arc de Triomphe. Victor Hugo wrote Les Miserables with a goal to address the causes and outcomes of social injustice in 19th century France. Other well-known books written by Victor Hugo include The Hunchback of Notre Dame, the Man Who Laughs, and The Last Day of a Condemned Man. This book connects to many things within the world, but two of the most known would probably be The French Revolution, because that is what the book is completely about, and the world struggles of today, and how the countries that are taking on these struggles are trying to repair themselves from them, and the separation of the classes of man. He turned his head and saw little Sevier, about ten years of age, coming up the path and singing, his hurdy-gurdy on his hip and his marmot box on his back. Now, this represented the presence of a child. That is what the book tells afterwards, showing us that this little statement said by uh, Jean Valjean, he was saying something about his child. He was an old man, about 75 years of age. He had occupied the Sea of D since 1806. Now, this represents the bishop, which is a very important character in the book, and it's basically characterizing him, but in it, he's being introduced to the book. I very much enjoyed the book Les Miserables. And though I've only finished volume one of the nine volume series, I am sure to enjoy the rest of the volumes of the series. It explains much in detail of the French Revolution and all the struggling that went on, but in a relatable fictional world for the people of the world to read and relate with. So...